Selecting multiple items from a list is a use case in most applications. And with this you can basically select languages, countries or mails or whatever you like. We will also build a search where you can search for the items which you want to select. And lastly, we will also look at how you can select a single country from your list. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating a list with all of our countries and if we click on one of these items, then we basically select one country. Therefore, let's go inside of our build method and here we want to get first of all a list of all the items which we want to display. And in my case, it is a list of countries. And therefore, I have created here this country model, which has our name inside of our country. And this is later the name which we display here within our list. And now that we have this list of items, we want to display the list. And therefore, I simply put here a list view inside. And then I map over all of our countries. And for each of these countries, we want to create a widget. And inside of this widget, we want to put our country inside. Later, you could also select here a single country from your list. And therefore, I also put here already this is selected state inside if it is selected or not. And also, if we click on this item, then we basically get here the country later back. And now we want to create this country list tile widget. And this widget basically displays here one item with the name and later also the flag and the selected state. Now within this country list tile widget, we go to our build method and here inside we create a list tile widget. And then we can access here our country and here we access this name. Therefore, I simply add here this title property and here I put a text widget inside with our country name. And with this, we display already the list of all items. So in my case, we have here all the countries. And if you like, you can also give it here a different text style. So I simply add here another text style. And our text style is also later different if our item was selected or if it is not selected. And therefore, I also have here this is selected property. And if it is selected, I put here a different text style inside, which is basically bold and has a color. And otherwise, we display here this simple text style. And we also can try it out by going to our country page. And here I put this is selected to true. And now you see that we have here a different style, which is our selected style. Back in our country list style, we also can add a trailing property and here we want to add then this check icon, which is displayed at the end. And this is basically every time if we have selected our item, then we have also this check at the end. And therefore, I also make sure that I put here this is selected state in front. So if it is selected, then we show this check icon. Otherwise, we don't show this check icon. And like you can see, if I set it again here to false in our country page, then it is also not selected anymore. Next, we also want to add the functionality that you can select an item. And in our case, we go then back to a previous page where this country is then displayed. Therefore, let's go to our country page list view. And here we have implemented this on selected country. And every time if we select here a country, then we want to call here a new method select country. And within this method, we basically get then the country which we have selected or the item which we have selected. And then we basically call here this method navigator pop, which will then pop this page from our navigation stack. And it will go then back to the previous page. And we also want to set here this country inside so that the previous page gets our country which we have selected. And to make this work, you also need to go again to your country list tile widget. And here within your list tile, you need to implement this on tab functionality. So if you click on one list tile, then we want to call this on selected method and put here our country, which we have selected inside. And now with the setup, we want to select a country and then we want to go to another page, which we want to create right now. And then this country, which we have selected should be displayed here. Therefore, I have created here a new page and here we basically create a new card. And this is basically the card where we later display our country inside. And now we want to build this card. Therefore, I simply built here a list tile. And here we want to put then first of all the no country title inside. And later, if we tap on it, then we also add some functionality. And this means by default, we have here no country selected. Then we later can click here. Then it is going to our countries page and we select here an item and then our country is displayed here inside. 
Now let's also create this list tile and this is pretty simple. So we simply create here list tile, put here our text inside in our title property and we also add here this on tab handler. So if we click on this widget, then we can add our functionality here inside. And this looks already like this. So we have here a basic list tile and I also add here this trailing icon at the end so that we see that we can select it. And now we want to implement here the functionality if we click on this item. Therefore, I create here a new on tap handler. And every time if we tap on this, then we want to navigate to a new page, which is our country page. And this is basically the page which we have created before, which then displays all of our countries. And this already works. So I can click here on this list tile and you see, we see here all the lists with our countries and we can select one. And like you remember within this country page, we have this on selected country and here we call this select country method. And here we basically navigate then to the previous page and we put here the country inside. And now we can access this country within our previous page. Therefore, I go again back to this main page where we display our no country card. And here every time if we navigate to our country page, then we can await it and get then this country back. And this is basically the country which we have selected here on the right side. And for now, we want to print our country name. So if I select here a country, you see that it is printed within our console. However, if I don't select here a country and I go here back, then you see that null is printed in our console. And therefore, we also need to make sure that we handle this case that here is a null inside within our country. So let's remove the print statement and here we basically check if the country is null and then we return because we don't want to get a null country. And lastly, we simply put this country which was selected inside of our variable here at the top within our state. And if a country was then selected, we also want to display here our country instead of no country. And therefore I simply check here if we have select no country, then we display here no country. And if we have selected a country, then we display here our country name. And this should work right now. So I select here a country and this country is then displayed here within our list tile. Now we have learned how to select a single country, but maybe you also want to select multiple countries. To select multiple countries, we go to our country page, which is this page here on the right side. And here we add basically a field within our constructor, which says it's multi-selection. Secondly, we go to our country page state and here we add a list of countries which we have selected. And this basically means if we later select here a country, then it will be added to this selected list of countries. And now every time if we click here on one of these items, then we want to add it here to this list or to remove it from this list if it was already selected. Therefore, I go here to this select country method where we get the country on which we have clicked. And here we basically check if we have this multi-selection enabled. And if this is the case, then we want to check if our selected countries already contain our country. And if the country on which we click is selected, then we basically want to remove our country. And if it is not selected, then we want to add to our selected countries the country on which we have clicked. And lastly, we need to wrap here a set state around to update also our UI. After this, we want to display all of our selected countries as selected and therefore we simply go here to our build method and here within our list view, we simply check if our country, which we are currently building, is selected. And if it is selected, then we simply put here this is selected field inside of this property. And we also can test it right now out. But before this, you also need to enable here this is multi selection and set it to true. And now I basically can click here on one of these items and you see that it is every time selected. And if I click again on one item, then it is deselected. After we have then selected all of our items, then we want to click here on this button select countries and then it should go to the previous page and then it displays here all the countries within our list tile. Therefore, we want to build right now this button here at the bottom to select all of our countries. And therefore we go again to our country page, which is this page on the right side. And here we wrap our list view inside of a column. And secondly, we also wrap here and expand it around our list view so that all the countries get the maximum space. And below this list view, we want to display then our button, which we want to build right now. Therefore, let's create this button. And we also want to determine here our label. 
And if we have here a multi-selection, then we want to say here select and then the number of the countries which we have selected. And therefore I check here if we have multiple selection enabled and if this is the case, then we display here our selected countries length. And if we don't have this multi-selection enabled, then we simply display here continue. And now we want to create this button, therefore I set here first of all a container with a background color of blue. And secondly, we create here our button and put here our label text inside. And we also need to implement this on press, so if we click on this button, then we later add here our functionality. And now we basically have here already our button and we also want to make it more beautiful. Therefore, I add here first of all a style for our button so that it is white. And we also make our button more beautiful by giving it a different shape to make it more rounded. And we also give it here a height of 40 pixels. And this looks already pretty cool. And what we also want to do is we want to add here some padding around our button. Therefore, I add here to this container some horizontal padding and also some vertical padding and now we have here some space around our button. And if we select here more countries you see that our button is working fine and it is always displaying the country number here inside. And lastly we want to add here the functionality of this button so if we click on this button we call a method submit and within this method we basically call the navigator.pop so that we go again to the previous page and this time we put then here the selected countries inside so this is the list of all the countries which we have selected within our UI. And to test our multi-selection out, we want to create also another field within our UI where then all the countries are displayed which we have selected. Therefore, let's go back to our home page, which is here this page on the right side. And here within the state, I add another field where we store then all the countries inside which we have selected. And within our build method, we create another card to display our multiple countries. And therefore I simply copy here this other method build single country which we have created before. And here inside we need to change here every time the country which we have because we get here not one country back, we get multiple countries back. So like you remember on the country page we have put here a list of all the countries inside which we now want to display within our UI. Therefore let's adapt everything to the countries. So first of all we check if the countries are empty and if this is the case then we display no countries. And if they are not empty then we want to display here all the countries as a text. And therefore I simply go here to the top and then we map over our countries list. And this is basically this country list which we have stored within our state. And within these countries we want to access our country name. Therefore I map here within this other card the countries to our country name. And lastly we join then all these countries with a comma in between. And this will make sure that all the countries which we have selected are later comma separated. And this looks then already like this. So initially we have here no countries. However, we also need to change here our implementation if we tap on this card. So if we tap on this card, we want to go to our country page and here we want to enable this is multi selection because we want to select multiple countries. And if we have selected multiple countries, we also want to get here multiple countries as a list back. And here we basically do the same as before. We check here if the countries are now, then we want to return. And we also put then our countries inside of our countries list, which we have stored here within our state. And now we can try it out. So I basically click here on this tile. Then we can select here all the countries which we like. Then we click here on this button. And you see we are going back to this page and all the countries which we have selected are displayed. Furthermore, we also want to implement a search where we can type the name of the country and then all the countries are displayed which match this search. And we want to get started by storing this text which we type here within our state. So I go to the country page and here I basically create a field text where our search text is stored. And secondly, we go here to our app bar and under our app bar we want to display a search field and therefore I have here created a search widget and here inside we basically put the text which we have typed. And initially if there is no text inside you can also display a hint text and this is basically the hint text which I define here. And lastly if we basically change the text within this field then we store this text within our text state here at the top. And I don't want to go here into detail about this search widget because I have created already another video where you can create search implementations. 
And I will link this video where we create the search app bar within the description of this video here. And if you want to get here also the search widget implementation, you can get the source code of this project with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. So in total, every time if we type here anything in our search field, then this text will be put here inside of this text field. And now based on this text field, we want to change the list of all the countries which we display in our list view. Therefore, I go to the build method and here I create a new field countries where I put all the countries inside which we display here on the right side. And we simply put these countries then inside of our list view so that they are displayed. And secondly, we want to filter all of our countries based on the search text. And therefore, I create here a new method contains search text. And within this method, we basically map over all of our countries. So we get here every time the single country. And here inside, we check if the country which we want to display fulfills the condition that it contains the lower text, which is here basically this text here. And to make also our search work, I have transferred here this text, which is our search text to lowercase and also our country name to lowercase so that our search is not case sensitive. And this should already work. So I simply type here AM and you see he is filtering it and here it selects then only this country. And also if I set here in the beginning our search with a lowercase letter, you see it is also working because our text search is here case insensitive. Next, we want to fix some issues with our multi selection. So if we select here multiple countries, you see they are selected. However, if I click here again on this field, you see that we don't have any country selected. And this is what we want to change so that the selection which we have selected before is also displayed again. And to achieve this, we go to our country page and here we add another field with all the countries. And these countries which we put here inside are then later displayed as selected within our UI. And therefore we go here to our state and here we implement the init state. And then we simply override here our selected countries with the countries which we have put here inside of our constructor. Secondly, we go to our main file. And within our main file, we want to go to this card where we display multiple countries. And this is basically here this method. And here, every time if we push a page, then we want to put here inside of our country page, all the countries which should be selected initially on this new page. And therefore I simply access here the countries which we have stored here within our state and which basically consist of all the countries which we have selected before. And now we can try it out. So I select here some countries and after this I click again on this card and you see that the countries are again selected. And you might think now that everything is fine with this implementation. However, there is also a small issue. And the issue is basically if we select here some countries initially and then we don't click on this button, instead we go here simply back, you see that we have no selected countries. However, if I go again inside, you see that the countries are still selected. And this issue occurs because we put here our countries list inside of our country page. And this is basically then a reference of our countries. And now if we go here inside of this countries page, you see that within the init state, we use then the same reference to this list and then we put it inside of the selected countries. So basically we work here with the same reference of the selected countries, which we also have here inside. So they are manipulating also this countries list. And we don't want that this countries list is manipulated if we go to our new page and if this page is then working with our countries. Therefore, we go again to our multiple card widget and here if we put our countries inside, we simply make a copy of our countries. And this will make sure that our countries page is then working with another reference of our countries and not with the original countries of our current page. And now we can try it again out. So I select here some countries and then I go back. Then it says no countries selected. And if I go again inside, you see that also no countries are selected. At the end, we also want to look at how we can load all of these flags for our countries. And we will also create here a toggle button at the top, which then toggles between the native language of the country and then also the English language of the country. 
So let's start with the easy thing first. We want to implement here the native language of our countries. Therefore, I go here to the country page, which you see here on the right side. And within our state, we add here a Boolean flag is native. And by default, we set it to false. And secondly, we want to implement here a toggle button in our app bar. And therefore, I simply go here to our app bar. And here I add this actions property where I include a button. And every time if we press on this button, then we toggle this is native field. And now every time if we click here on this button, you see it is toggling our native field. And we also want to make use of this native field. Therefore, I go to the build method. And here where we display our country list tile widget, which is here this widget for displaying a single country. Here inside, I put then this field is native. And we also want to implement it here within our country list tile widget. Therefore, I simply add it here to our constructor, this is native field. And then we go to our build method and here where we display our country name, we want to exchange it. So instead we want to check here if it is native, then we want to display our native name. And if it is not native, then we simply want to display here the English name of our country. And therefore this country object, which I have created, has here this native name as a field inside with the native name and this native name I have implemented inside of a JSON file where I have put then the name and also the native name for all of the countries inside. And now we can try it out. So every time if I toggle here, you see that it is displaying then the native name and I also can toggle again, then he is displaying the English name. And back in our country page, we also need to change our search logic because right now we are not searching every time with the country name. Instead, if it is native, then we search with the native name. Otherwise, we search with the normal English name, which you see right now. And this will make sure that also our search logic is working fine with the switch if we switch to the native name. Before we then load all the flags for our countries, we also want to add another functionality. So basically, if we select a country, then it should be always displayed at the top of our list. And this will make sure that the user doesn't need to search through the whole list to find all his selected countries. To achieve this functionality that our countries are displayed at the top, we go to our build method of the country page. And here where we load all of our countries, we want to wrap it inside of a new method. And inside of this method, we want to make sure that the selected countries are displayed first. And therefore, I first of all get here all the not selected countries by simply determining which countries are selected and we simply remove them from our list. And secondly, we return here a new list of selected countries where we first of all add all of our selected countries and after it we put all the non-selected countries inside. And now if I select here some countries, you see they are always added at the top, no matter where I select the country. A small issue which can occur is that our countries are not sorted alphabetically. And this is also what you can change easily. Therefore, you simply sort all the selected countries. And here I have created a new method to basically sort our countries and put it inside of an ascending order. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here the right alphabetically order for our selected items. And at the very end, we also want to display all the flags for our countries next to our country name. Therefore, we want to look first of all at how we load all the countries. And therefore, I have here basically a file which contains all of our countries. And within this JSON file, we have then every time the name, the native name, and also a code which is identifying this country. And this name which is later identifying a country is really important because I have added here also a list of all the images of the different countries SVG format. And here we basically access these countries over the country code. And this is exactly this country code which we have stored here inside. And now back in our country provider, we simply load this JSON file and we also decode it. And after this, we simply convert it to our country objects. And at the end, all these countries are also sorted in case they are not sorted. And with this, we basically load all the countries and then we have the name and native name, which we have already accessed. And also the code, which is really important to access here later all the images of our flags. 
Next, we want to create here a widget which displays then our flag and therefore I simply create a flag widget and here we basically get then the code of the country with which we can then access our flag. And like you learned before, we simply go then to our assets countries folder and here inside we have all the flags and over this code we can then access our flag. And lastly, I simply return here an SVG picture and here I put then this URL to this image inside. And to make use of this SVG picture, you also need to go to your PubSpec JAML file and here you need to add this Flutter SVG under your dependencies inside. And now we can simply display here a flag by calling the code of the country. Therefore, let's go for example to our country list tile widget, which is displaying here these countries. And within the build method, we go to our list tile and here within our leading property, we add then our flag widget and inside of it, we put then over our country, the code inside, which we want to display. And with this, we simply display all the flags before our country name. And this looks already much better. And we also can display our country flag here at the beginning if we select a country. And therefore I go to the main file. And here we go then to our single country card, which is this card here at the top. And if we then display our card, we also want to add our flag within the leading property. Therefore, I simply add here this flag with our country code. And we also want to go to our list tile and here we put our leading property inside of our list tile. And with this, we also display here the flag of the selected country every time at the beginning. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.